Hi guys, Deborah from Housework Eclectic here for our weekly show. Um, today we are making, I'm showing you some of um, how to make an easy quiet book. Um, I don't know about you, but I made a quiet book for my older daughter when she was little. I'm just going to go ahead and get some shares going over here. Um, and it took forever. It was all these little teeny tiny pieces, all this little teeny tiny sewing. And it was very frustrating. So when my um, second daughter was, oh, about maybe one or 18 months, I decided I wanted to do another quiet book, but I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be so crazy and so hard. So I am super, super lucky. I'm married to a graphic designer. Um, hi, Linda. Tell me where you guys, when you guys pop on, tell me where you're um, tuning in from. I'm in Salt Lake City. Uh, well, Salt Lake City is the closest city to what you know, to me that most people would know. Um, so I decided I wanted to make a quiet book, but I didn't want it to be so difficult. So um, I'm super lucky. I'm married to a fantastic graphic designer. So for my birthday last year, he, um, he asked me what I wanted to do on my birthday, and I said, I want you to make me these amazing printables so that we can, um, so that I can make this awesome quiet book for for our daughter and so he made me these awesome printables so I'm gonna over the next few lives it's he made so many I think he made like 11 between 11 and 15 I can't remember exactly so today we're gonna cover three I'm hoping we'll get through three of them and um, they're super easy to um to do hang on I've got to grab the link to the, the video oh guys I'm so special <laughs> I'm on my page which is housewife eclectic looking for the link to the video Forgetting that I'm actually live on Mama Loves Food today. So I am live on Mama Loves Food every other Monday at 1.30 Eastern from 1.30 to 2.30. I'm normally doing crafts. Um, we like to, uh, I like to do a lot of crafts and fun things. The other Mondays that I'm not live here, I'm live on Spaceships and Laser Beams. Let me grab the link. There we go. I found myself, guys. Struggles. Um... So today we are making an awesome quiet book. Um, hi guys, I'm so happy to see the ones that are brand new watchers that have never seen my show before. We do a lot of crafts. I know Mama Loves Food and everyone, they mostly do a lot of food shows, so I'm, it's fun to kind of be different. Um, we do a lot of, and I like to do simple crafts. If I'm doing a craft, I like it to be anything, something that anybody can, can do, not just me. So today I'm going to show you, all right here in a minute, I'm going to go through our quiet book with you. I'm going to show you the, the different things we made and then I'll show you which ones we are doing today. I'm really super excited to, to share this with you. So um, almost all the quiet book pages are up already on my blog, which is the Housewife Eclectic. I started blogging about them last year. Um, and let me see if I can grab this, guys. Hang on, I just, I have to share this a couple of places just to make sure, you know, people see it. And then we will get started. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you some of our quiet book. So this is our quiet book. Um, I just put it in a binder. You could just punch holes in these pages and put three three rings through them. That would be a really easy way to bind them. And um, we've just put ours in a big binder like this. So this is our quiet book. And then if you see... So there's a, there's a car page for cars to drive cars on. Then we have a shape matching page to match shapes. Then there's cookie matching, which is um, each of the cookies has a different uh, number of chocolate chips on it. So that this is a great page for helping your kids with their numbers and things like that. So we mostly use this at, let's see if I can I do that right. Um, we mostly use ours at church. We go to church every Sunday. Um, so it's a great way to keep them quiet there. We also, um, we just had a funeral we had to attend. And it was one of those where the kids needed to come. Um, so they, this was fabulous there. It helped keep them quiet. So then we've got, so here's our cute little farm and our farm animals. Which well, I'll be sharing eventually over the course of lives. So every Monday, every other Monday, I am here on Mama Loves Food. The other Mondays, I'm on Special Ships and Laser Brings. And every Friday at 1.30 Eastern, I am live on my page, Housewife Eclectic. So over the next few lives, 
um, on those different pages, I will be sharing the, the different play mats. And then these are my favorite guys, these. So he made me the most fantastic paper dolls for my kiddos. And then there's rooms for the kids, for the doll, paper dolls to play in. You see the cute little kitchen. And then, so here's our space one. We've got lots of space fun things today. We're actually gonna do this one today. Um, and then we have an ocean one. And then a clock to uh, tell time. So then here is a threading page. We're going to do this one today too, hopefully. And then one of my very favorites, guys. We can't call it by its real name because it's copyrighted. But this is our Dress the Potato page. So I think we're going to get to that one today too. So Dress the Potato. Then there's Weather Matching. And a stoplight. And then kind of a Tetris thing here. So these printables are all free. They're all, you can download them all on my blog. I've linked to the three that we are gonna do today. So I'm hoping we can get through the the thread, the thread mouse threading card, um, the space page, and there's another, there's a third one that I've linked to up in the description. And then there's this cute little stacking rings, which my kids obviously didn't put the, see cute little stacking rings. They didn't put the, um, pieces back in the back, but that's okay. Um, so this is, it's, I don't know about you, but when my oldest daughter was little, I started a felt quiet book and it was so much work. It was a lot of work. So I wanted something that I could do faster. I could add to, um, things like that. So this is what we came up with and it's worked so great for our family and it's so easy to make. And <clears throat> since all of these printables are free, it's going to be so easy for you to make. You don't even have to do any of the printable making, you just need to do the um, the laminating. So today we're gonna laminate, cut out, that kind of thing. So here I have made extra copies of all of the um, the pages. I have to show you the princess dresses for these papers. We're not doing paper dolls today. I think we'll do paper dolls on Friday. If you wanna go ahead and go up to the description and give my page a like so you'll see the paper doll show. Um, but. So here's our cute little Tetris one, but I have to show you the, oh guys, the farm animals are so cute. So the paper dolls, the nice thing about the paper dolls is I've done two different sets of paper dolls. So there are paper dolls with um, different colors, uh, different skin tones. And then, so we're doing, let me see if I can find them for you. I made the whole stack, so. I wouldn't have to go back to the UPS store. You can just print these at home on cardstock. I went to the UPS store because I just like, I just wanted to be fast and easy and my printer was out of ink today. So, um, let's see if I can do this, guys. I'm all sorts of struggles today. I'm always all sorts of struggles, though. So, there's our cute weather matching. Look at that cute little tornado. So, we'll do these ones another day. Today, we are doing our Dress the Potato which we can't, you know, say the real version of because it's copyrighted, but we'll just call it Dress the Potato. Today we're doing Dress the Potato. We're doing our space page. So here's the space. Here are our cute little space guys to go with it. And we are doing, oh, I found the other page I was looking for. We're not doing paper dolls today. We'll probably do paper dolls Friday or next Monday. Um, but I had to show you the cute little there's Cinderella and Aurora and Tiana and Rapunzel and Snow White and Tinkerbell. You know, oh, and then I think the Ariel dress is my favorite. Okay, so, and then we're doing the, ma the, the mouse threading card today, too. So we're doing three. And so all of these are on my blog right now if you want to go ahead and go download them. Some of them might be a little, have a, I know that the three we're doing today are working. Some of them, the other ones might be having a little bit of a struggle because um, I just had my site my site transferred hosts this last week, and so there's been a little bit of some sticky stuff as we've been trying to figure that all out. So today we are doing these three. Um, the easiest of them all is probably the space page, so maybe we'll start with that. And then we've got dress the potato and the mouse threading card. So hopefully we'll get through all three. I'm not sure if we will. If not, we'll just start pick up where we left off on the next slide. Let me go ahead and share this one more time. 
So when you guys pop on, go ahead and tell me where you are coming from. Misty, we are making a quiet book. And the best part about this quiet book is I have done all the printables for you. So all you have to do is do some printing, some cutting, a little bit of laminating, and you have an amazing quiet book. These are perfect for, you know, if you don't have kids, this is, this is something that would be perfect to keep at your house if someone, one of your friends brings kids over. And um, if you do have kids, we use ours at church every week, which we love. Um, uh, hang on. I can't apparently type and talk at the same time. I've tried really hard to like figure that out. I just can't do it. Oh, Linda, does the, the audio sound garbled to you? Um, I'm sorry about that. I hope it kind of uh, figures itself out a little bit. Hi, Denise from Scotland. Oh, I can't even tell you how bad I would love to go to Scotland. I have been... My parents took me to London when I graduated from high school as a present, and I've always wanted to go to, to I've always wanted to go back. I'm hoping one day I can take my husband back. Um, oh good, Giselle says it sounds good to her, so I'm good. Hi Carrie from North Dakota. So we are working on a quiet book. Um, someone asked if I had a quiet book for teens. You know what I have actually found is that um, I have a teenage sister and she actually loves to play with this one too. So you can't ever just say you made it for them because then it's not cool. But um, let me share this one more time to my own page. If I am Deborah from Housewife Eclectic, you can find my page up in the description. Um, so if you want to be able to catch our next shows, so what, what we are over the next, I'm thinking maybe three or four shows, we're going to do the entire quiet book together. So if you want to go ahead and like my page so you can catch the next one on Friday. Um, maybe Friday we'll do paper dolls. My paper dolls are so, so I've got, oh, I was going to show you the, I know I printed the, so there's all the, oh, here they are. So I have blank paper dolls where the, the, the dolls are completely blank, just the black outline, the clothes are completely blank so your kids can color them in if they want. Um, I also have these ones that have different colors of skin tones. Um, if you see something here that, you know, you want something that that looks more closely like your kids, let me know and I can see if I can't figure that out for you. I, want it, I wanted it to be, I wanted everyone to have a doll that looked like them. So we've got all different skin tones here and then we have a bunch of different hair colors and stuff like that that you can cut out for your kids or they can color it to look like them. So whatever works for you. Okay, last share, I promise. And um, we are gonna get started. We are gonna start with this alien page because it's probably one of the easiest to do. So um, this is not a crafty thing. Like if you um, are not a crafty person, you can totally do this. So the first thing you are gonna need to do is you're just gonna need to print the um, space page in color. And then you see how there's a little bit of a print border around it? You're just gonna trim that off. So we're gonna go ahead and trim. So I'm just going to tell you about myself while we do this. So I am Deborah. I have been blogging for almost 10 years. Isn't that crazy? Um, I have two kiddos. Um, I have two little girls, two fantastic little girls. My oldest is eight, and she's at school right now. And she is, like, devastated that she's at school during my live shows. This is her last week of school, and she can't wait to be a part of it. I think she might even be able to be in the show on Friday. We'll see if school gets out early enough. So I'm just trimming the edges on this perfect thing. Yeah, I, you know, Elaine, uh, Elaine just mentioned Wreck-It journals for teens. I haven't um, done a ton with that. I just posted about an amazing art journal on my Instagram yesterday that I just found this journal that's like this mommy and me journal and you, um, Every page has a prompt of something to draw, and each spread has a place for the child to draw and a place for a mom to draw. So I've started doing it with my oldest daughter, my eight-year-old, and it's been a fantastic way to communicate and get beyond the, like, how was your day question and things like that. So there we go. We've cut this out. The next thing is, is we need to cut out um, these cute little figures. Um, so Elaine, my Instagram account is uh, Wife Eclectic. Here, I'll link to it for you in just a second. Um, 
So I've done all, all of this work is already created for you, so it makes it really easy. And there, it's all free to download on my website. So you just have to go. I've linked to each one. I've linked so the space one should be linked up into the in the description. You can go ahead and go down there and download it. Um, all of the pages that I've showed you so far are all already on there. I know some of them are having a little issue because I just transferred sites. So I'm working as fast as I can to get everything all back up and fixed. But I know the three I'm showing you today are all working. Okay, is that my Instagram? There it is. So it's just, so Elaine, it's just the first book I just linked. Um, it's just the first post on there. I haven't posted since I posted it. So it's just this awesome art journal that's got this, uh, this, opportunity for mom and child to to write back and forth and um it does something that my me and my eight-year-old have done a lot of is like the mom journals there i've just put my instagram in the comments for you Lee. um so it's something that me and my eight-year-old have done a lot of because she's kind of a she's a highly anxious child but it makes her really nervous to talk about some of the things that are scaring her so it's been this fantastic way for us to talk about those things without some of those nerves. Okay, so my space page. Now we're gonna cut out our aliens. So most of this, I'm just gonna cut with regular scissors. I did link to a pair of detail scissors up in the comments. I have a like a little teeny tiny pair of scissors for some of these holes and stuff like that. I might use a little bit later. So if you wanna look at detail scissors, I put some up in the description. And then I'm also, the biggest thing, you don't have to laminate anything, but they, it's going to hold up way better if you do. Hi, Tracy. Good to see you here. Where are you tuning in from? Um, so everything's going to hold up way better if you do laminate it. But you don't have to. If you want to skip that step, save that time. But if your kids are anything like my kids, you'll want to laminate it. So I'm just cutting out the alien space pieces. Guys, this cute little alien kills me. We took our kids to Roswell <laughs> during their alien festival. Oh, it's probably what five years ago. It was like 2012 when we did it, and it was it was so fun and ridiculous and awesome. And their McDonald's in Roswell has like a space themed play place. It's pretty funny and awesome. My husband is super big into like I don't know that he like. When I say super big into it, I don't necessarily say that he's believes it all, but he's super big into like alien conspiracy theories. Like we've, I can't even tell you how many alien documentaries I've watched. But he's also into like just regular, you know, like nor not normal, but factual. I mean, I don't know how to say that without like discounting everyone who believes in that stuff, but. We also watch a lot of like NASA documentaries and stuff like that too. It's kind of this thing. So I'm just cutting out. So I've cut out the alien play page, cut out the earth, working on the little alien right now. Elaine, your kids love the alien museum. It's kind of awesome, right? It's one of those things where I'm like, everybody needs to do that once in their life. Everybody needs to go to Roswell just once. So my, we bought my daughter this awesome alien bow while we were in Roswell, and every time she wears it, it makes me laugh. Tracy says she's here from Cincinnati, Ohio. It's so good to have you in with our show with us today. We are just we are making this fantastic quiet book. All of the work, the design work has been done for you for free, so you can just download these pages. If you go up into the description, I've linked the three different pages we are doing today. Right now we are working on the alien page so it's mostly so this entire quiet book is just cutting and laminating it's really easy anybody can do it um when i did i did the entire quiet book in like a week last summer and i made i enlisted everybody like people would be sitting on the couch just watching tv and i'd be like here cut this here cut this So is it warm where you guys are today? It's finally starting to warm up here. We are super lucky. We have a pool in our backyard and the, we just opened it today to get the systems all going and first cleaned up for the season. And the water's like 54 degrees and I'm so sad. I wanna swim so bad, but it's not ready. 
Okay. So there's a little alien guy that we've cut out. Oh, let's cut that. So you just, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's your quiet book. Um, but you are going to want to basically cut out. So there's a little alien. Just stick him on top of our space thing here. So I just have a couple more things to cut out. The hardest part of this page, this is probably one of the easiest pages, the hardest part is just making sure you get the circles out of the rocket, which you don't have to do if you don't want to. So I have printed everything on cardstock. I feel like it holds up better. Um, I don't want to have to do the work twice. So, oh, Pamela says, chilly chance of rain in New York. Where in New York, Pamela? I love New York. My sister used to live in Syracuse, New York. So we used to go up in, we used to go visit her. So, I've been to, it's funny, all the times I've been to New York, and I think I've actually only been into the city once, one of those times, because we used to just spend so much time in Syracuse and up, you know, upstate New York. So I'm just cutting out the space saucer right now. Pamela says near Poughkeepsie. Seriously, like my favorite word ever. Okay, so there's the spaceship. See, like you see how this isn't taking me any time at all. Just, just cut out the spaceship. This is seriously one of the fastest pages, and I think it's so stinking adorable. This is what my husband last year on my birthday was like, what do you want to do today? Do you want to go to a movie? And I was like, mm, I just want you to design stuff for me all day long. I have this art journal that I keep that I um, design, draw things in that I want him to create. And so he always groans a little bit when the art journal comes out. Christina, you're finally out of rainy season in Seattle. Oh, I'm headed your way in just like a month. My oldest brother, who is kind of stinking awesome, uh, lives in Gig Harbor. So we are, and his oldest daughter and my oldest daughter are like best, best, best friends. And they're the cutest things ever. So we are headed up to Seattle this summer in Oregon. My dad grew up in Oregon, so I spent most of my summers in Oregon, so I'm excited to finally take my kids back to where I used to, to summer. Okay, so I'm just cutting out this little sun. I'm almost done. Then we'll get the rocket, and then I'll show you how to finish up this page. And then we'll start the next one. Okay. So Christina, tell me what are your must do's if someone were to come visit Seattle, what would you say they have to do? I, you know, as much as we went to Oregon as a kid, we went to Seattle a couple of times, but we never really did anything there. So I'm excited to actually get to go to Seattle. So tell me guys, have any of you been to the Space Needle? Is it worth it? My husband thinks that it's super expensive and doesn't want to do it so I'm trying to convince him that it's worth it so tell me is it worth it okay so we've got our little sun last things our spaceship and then we're ready to laminate this one and call this one good Funny that I don't think that I'm a very good, can you be a bad cutter? Cutter elder? Is that a thing? Okay. So what are you guys up to today on this glorious Monday? And I say glorious because it's the last week of school. Oh, someone's here. Don't know who it is. I, yeah. I am so excited. I there's my puppy. She thinks so. We have this little teeny tiny tiny poodle. Like she's she's like this big. She's this tiny little dog, and she thinks she's a guard dog. No, we're here. She thinks 
You're fine. She thinks that she could like attack and protect a family. And like guys, she's like this big. Like she's, so she's a miniature poodle and she's just tiny. And it's hilarious. Every time someone comes to the door, she's like gonna protect and save the family. Okay, we're almost done with this rocket, and then we will finish. So, um, now that I have got this almost all cut out, I'm going to use those little tiny scissors. I, so, I linked into it. They're called detail scissors. And I linked to a pair in the top if you don't have detail scissors, if you want to look at those. Um, okay, so here's my rocket. We want to cut these little circles out. You know, I didn't even, Tammy, I didn't know you could eat at the top. I've never really, you know, I've never been to Seattle, really. My, I spent most of my summers in Salem, Oregon, because that's where my dad grew up. A little bit in Portland, but mostly in Salem. So I'm so excited that we're taking our kids. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Enchanted Forest. It's like, <sighs> the most ridiculous and awesome theme park ever and I'm like so ridiculously excited my husband keeps rolling his eyes at me about how ridiculously I'm excited I am to take my kids to this ridiculous theme, theme park and so we're gonna do that and we're gonna do Lincoln City so I'm just cutting the circles out here So Christina says, if you're going to do the space needle, you need to make sure it's a clear day. Are there many of those? I feel like my sister-in-law posted a picture of my cute little niece the other day. And she was saying that was like the first clear day all year. I don't know if I could do it. They love, love, love Seattle. But I love, love, love the sun. So, of course, their winters are a lot milder than they are here. I, I live right, so I actually live up on a mountain. So, it gets pretty snowy during the winter here. It's finally warming up. I mean, it's beautiful. I can look out. I, you know, I look out this window that's right in front of me here and I can see the mountains and it's really pretty, but okay. We did it. Okay. I'm not going to do the second cutting out part for you guys. Um, live probably because I want to be able to get through more than one thing. So the big thing you are going to need is right here. Can you see my laminator? So you need a laminator for this. I link to, I have a scotch laminator. I really like it. It's always done really well by me. <coughs> they're easy. They're just the laminating pouches. So see, laminating pouches. So I've always liked those. You know what, Beth? Beth was just, just um, if you guys see, Beth just made a comment about pit bulls. Um, I actually just watched a documentary about pit bulls last night because my little, my youngest sister loves pit bulls and has always wanted one and they, you know, you always hear bad things about them so they make me so nervous. So I watched this awesome documentary about them and, you know, they're not, they're not any different than any other dog. Okay, so stick your background inside a sheet and then you're going to put the sheet into the laminator. Hey, here, can you see? If I can get it in. There we go. So just feed it through your laminator. Like that. It's going to come out the other side and laminate it. It's kind of mesmerizing to watch. Beth says small dogs are bored crazy. Yeah, this one, she, um, so her name is actually Princess, which of course you can tell that the children named the dog. Um, so she's actually super, super sweet. She's just very protective. Okay. So there we go. Background laminated. They're pretty warm when they come out, so be careful of that. I mean, they're not like, it's not going to burn you, but they're pretty warm. Okay, so this is all laminated. I'll show you what to do with these 
little pieces now. So we are gonna stick them in a laminating sheet as well. So I'm gonna turn you guys back towards the laminator. Just like that. So I just stick them throughout a sheet like this. You just don't want them too close to the edge or the seal's not gonna, it's not gonna seal. Okay, you see how I've, I've just kind of separated them? You don't want them touching. If they're touching, you're not gonna be able to cut them apart. Or if you're like me, you're gonna flip the sun out of the laminating sheet. So typically, if I'm doing pieces, I kind of, I like to hold the sheet until everything's gone through so I know that it's not gonna shift. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn you back towards me. So I already made you watch me cut these out once, so I'm not gonna make you watch me cut them out again. So now that they've been laminated, you're just gonna go ahead and cut around them again. So the big thing with this one is in order to get them to, you. I mean, you don't have to get them to stick to the background. Um, Lorraine, she says she's owned a laminated for two years and never used it. My laminator's my best friend. I laminate a lot. So the way I like to, to do this is you get a piece of tin or um, something that's magnetic, and then you just stick it in the front of the quiet book so they can stick behind, and then you magnetize the pieces and they can move them all over. Because um, if you don't do it that way, then they can only stick the pieces in certain places. And, you know, that's not quite as fun. So, you would, the next thing you would do is you would cut each of these out again. And then you would add a strip of tape to the back of them. And then when they pull it out, they put that piece of metal behind the one that they're playing with. And then it will stick all over. You don't necessarily have to make it stick either. Since this is, this is more of a mobile mat where they're going to want to be able to move things around so it doesn't necessarily have to stick so there is our space one so let's move on to the next one let's move on to our you guys want dress the potato next or the threading page next someone going to give me an answer so i don't have to pick so here's our dress the potato super cute potato all these cute little accessories I can't call it by its real name or I'll get in trouble. <gasps> oh, yes. Well, you're my, Lorraine says I thought I was your best friend. You're my best human friend. Potato. Tracy says let's do potato. You win, Tracy. So the best part of the potato part is you literally don't have to do anything to this page. All you have to do is print it out. Stick it in the laminating sheet and stick it through the laminator. So that page is done. I can watch the mesmerizingness of the potato page. I have a problem where I like watching things go through the laminator too much. Okay, so while that's going, it's so that page that that's really easy. The next thing you need to do is you just need to cut out. So we've got glasses and hats and noses and eyes. So you just need to cut a good variety out. Um, I've got a bunch of different colors on there for you to make it really easy. Um, you can just decide what you want to cut out and cut those out so then you have accessories. So I'm just going to cut and talk. I'm probably going to cut some of the easier ones out so we can get to our threading page before our show is over. And guys, when I first started these shows, um, I'm sure, I, I don't know if you guys watch April's show on Thursday nights. She's fantastic and awesome. Um, she says she's the owner of Mama Loves Food. When I first started these shows on her page, she said, okay, they need to be an hour long. But an hour? Like, how can I do an hour? And then I started doing them, and I don't know if it's just what it is, but it all seems to go super fast. So 
So I'm just cutting out a hat for the potato head. So you don't have to do anything to the potato page. You just feed it through the, the laminator. So I've linked to a lamin an laminator that I like. It's not exactly like mine because mine is like a super old version. I've had mine, I want to say like six or seven years. And then I also link to a big pack of laminating pouches. And that pack of laminating pouches is going gonna, is gonna to go really far for you. It's, um, I've had that since, I've had my one pack um, for probably two or three years. And I've done, I did a whole quiet book on a pack and I still have enough to do another whole quiet book and things like that. So that pack is going to give you a lot. I think it's 100 sheets. Which if you're careful with, how many pieces you put in at a time um, will help you, will make it go far. So I'm just cutting out hats for the potato. This potato we are gonna do um, similar to what I showed you with the alien page, where you can put magnets in specific places if you want. Um, I kind of like them to be able to put the magnets wherever they want to on the potato. So I put the piece of tin behind the page while we play on it and just put the magnets on the back of the pieces but you can stick magnets straight onto your potato if you want to. You don't have to use magnets, you can use Velcro or felt, but I like to use the magnets because, like I said, I like to not have to put them on the, the background. So I've cut out a couple of hats, we'll cut out some teeth, just to give you a good variety, show you what it's gonna look like. So there's teeth and eyes and glasses. Typically when I cut out the glasses, I cut, you know, I cut out the, um, the centers of the glasses, but then after I laminate them, I don't cut the centers out again to try, because the glasses are kind of thin, so there's cute little teeth. So you want to be able to give them a little bit more stability, so I don't cut out the, the centers of the glasses again after. So in this page, this is the dress the potato page. This page is linked up into the description, and I know the download's working on that. So you just have to put your email in to access the download. And I promise if you put your email in, all you'll ever get is more posts like that and stuff like that. You're not going to. We are very careful with that email list. We just use it so that you can see more printables and things like that more fun stuff. So we've got some Miss, a cute Mrs. Potato Head hat. Elaine says this would be fun for a preschooler for a birthday gift. It absolutely would be. We, so I first, the very first time I, st I made this quiet book, it was for my little girl. She thinks she was like 18 months old or two at the time. Um, and we were traveling to California in a car, 17 hours. It's just, it's a lot of time in the car. So I was trying to make, um, I mean, we have a tablet for the kids and stuff like that, but I don't know about you, your kids. My kids get grumpy when I let them watch a lot of movies or something like that. So we were trying, I was trying to come up with ideas that would keep them entertained and be fun, but not be television. I mean, I'm not opposed to them watching it on long trips. They just get so grumpy when I let them watch it. So we don't do, we actually don't do TV in our house on a day-to-day -day basis. They're not allowed to, they have to earn every single second that they spend on an iPad, which drives them crazy, but I think it's good for them. So I'm just going to cut out like one or two more pieces. So I'm seeing a little Mrs. Potato Hat. Because then they won't be sealed. Mary, um, Mary wants to know why can't you laminate the whole accessory page and then cut out each page? Because if you did that, you're, you're going to break the seal on the laminated pieces, and then the, the lamination can is not sealed around the edges, and then um, you know water and other damage can ruin it. So it kind of defeats the purpose of the lamination. Okay, so I'm just going to cut out a pair of eyes so we can make a cute little face. So eyes, and then let's do a pair of glasses too. And there's ears and noses and all sorts of fun stuff on these pages. So the glasses are a little bit tricky. So you're probably gonna want those detail scissors that I linked to up in the description for these. So you just fold, bend, cut. So if you want to 
like my Facebook page up in the description. I think we will be doing the paper dolls on Friday. And the paper dolls are super cute. There's princess outfits and bedrooms and all sorts of awesome stuff there. Okay. So you just cut around, cut out. So these ones, um, after I laminate them, I will cut around them again, but I won't cut the centers out again. It kind of actually helps them make, make them look a little bit more like glasses anyway, which is funny. Okay. And then we will get to our mouse, our threading page. And then, hey, I think three quiet book pages in an hour. That's pretty darn good, isn't it? And then on Friday, we will continue right where we left off with, you know, our shape matching and our cookie counting and all sorts of fun stuff. So now that I've got those cut. So um, let's talk storing the pieces. You can hot glue a, a plastic bag to the back of the laminated page to hold all the pieces for each page if you want. Or if you looked at, if you were noticing in my book that I showed you at the very beginning, um, I use pencil pouches to hold the pieces in the book. Okay, so last piece, so let's get these laminated. The nice thing about laminate after you, um, so you want to be kind of precise when you cut them out the first time. The nice thing about the cutting them out again is you don't have to be quite so precise. Where did I get the metal sheet? So I have a couple of different ones. Um, one I ordered online from Amazon. It's just like a tin sheet. Um, if you give me a minute, I will link to it for you. So I'm just gonna put these in here, pieces. So you can make a face. Close that sheet up. I'm gonna move you guys so you can see my laminator. Always put the folded up edge in first, and then I usually just kind of hold it so that the pieces don't move as it goes through. So I got the metal sheet, and um, also this one actually that I was just showing you guys is actually like a, it's a decoration that we've just, um, see, can you see the spider webs I'm gonna shine? I got it from the dollar spot at Target. Okay. So the nice thing, like I said, is you don't have to be as exact after um, it goes through this time. Those of you that are just joining us, we are making a fantastic printable quiet book. You can download the, sh the things to, um, you can download the, th the backgrounds to print. So now we're just gonna go ahead and cut these out again. Um, like I said, you don't have to be as exact the second time, which is so nice. Okay, especially, and these, like I told you, I cut out the middle of the glasses the first time so that they're easier, but then I'm not going to cut them out again so they actually look a little bit more like glasses. So... I'm just going to cut out a couple of things so I can give you a general idea of what our little potato guy is going to look like. Actually, we're going to make him a Mrs. Dressed Potato. So you don't have to get all the way into each detail the second time, which is so nice. See how much faster that's going since I don't have to get into each detail? So I, I, like I said before, I'm super lucky. I'm married to a graphic designer, so I draw these things all out using colored pencils and paper, and then he creates them again for me on the computer. So we have our dress the potato, and we are gonna put just a little bit of magnet tape on the back of these eyes so that they will stick. To our... I'll put some magnet tape on the back. 
maybe put this on top of there and stick our eyes on. See, our cute little potato. So then you are just gonna magnet each thing so that they can dress the potato. Magnet on the back of the hat. Magnet on some of those teeth. So there's ears and noses and all sorts of stuff in there for you to cut. But I just cut a few things. So are you guys ready for this? I feel like I'm gonna I can pick it up. There we go. See, now you have a little virtual potato. And see those cute little glasses? Look how cute she is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So then if you want, you can hot glue a bag. So just a tiny bit of glue because the glue is going to melt the bag. So I will show you how to do this. So flip this page over, grab your hot glue gun. You want the larger part to the back and just tiny, tiny dabs of hot glue on there. And then Secure it to the back here, and there you go. See how that's on there? Now you can stick all those pieces. Where did my pieces go? Who knows, they're gone. Right here. Now you can stick all those pieces for that page in the back like that. So Elaine, I'm trying to remember how many pages it is. Um, it's quite a few, well, and the hard thing is that some of them are, certain things are multiple pages, like the, um, can't think of the word I'm looking for, paper dolls, have like bedrooms and stuff like that that go with them. So there's quite a few. So we're going to try and get through, we've got about 15 minutes left in our show, so we're going to try and get through one more page. So for this this is our threading page. There's our cute little darling mouse. Um, so you're not gonna trim around this one. You're gonna leave it as is, but you need to trim out these holes or there will be nothing to thread. You don't have to trim out the tiny, tiny holes because the mouse won't fit through those. You just need to trim out the big ones. I'm glad you like it, Elaine. It was, a, it was definitely a lot of work last year when it was all being designed and everything. Uh-oh. I just do to my scissors. It was a lot of work to, to get it all designed and on the computer and <laughs> a lot of eye rolling from my husband. But so I'm just cutting out the big circles in this. So um, today we did the space page, we did the dress the potato page, and we're doing the mouse threading page. Um, Friday we will probably do the paper dolls, which are super awesome because they have. There's all sorts of different skin tones and hair colors and, and, and clothes and things like that. There's also princess dresses. Or if your kids want to color them themselves, there's an entire set of blank dolls that they can color themselves. So you can just go ahead and let them have at it. And I have been playing with those. So I originally drew those dolls out for my first daughter when she was like two. So those have been on my site for a long time and I've updated them as I've gotten better at Illustrator and, and stuff like that. So there's, the paper dolls are super fun and probably one of my, my top downloads on my site. So just cut out the big, the big holes here. So it's been, it's been the blast to like figure out these printables and design them and And my husband is super awesome and goes through a lot of work to help me with this stuff. We always joke all the time that he's got a full-time job and then he comes home and has another full-time job helping me. So, we're just cutting these out. So, um, I know all the three that we've done today are all working right now. Um, I transferred my site this last week, so some things are being a little squampus. Is that a word? Um, so I'm gonna go back today and work on making sure all of them are working right now. Um, but 
I know these three are for sure are because I fixed them this morning. So you just go ahead and you go in and you download these and print them out with your computer. I did take mine to the UPS store to print um, just because it's near progress. Um, I was out of ink this morning. And instead of running to the store for ink, I just ordered it on Amazon, so we won't be here till tomorrow. So I do like to print on cardstock. It makes them a little sturdier, which is nice since little fingers are going to be playing with them. So I'm just cutting out each of these holes. It doesn't really have to be perfect. And um, this page, you do most of these. You just need scissors and laminating sheets for it. This one, you do need a little bit of hot glue and some ribbon for and I'll show you why in just a minute so cut out this and then at the very end here I'll flip back through our quiet book so you can kind of see everything so you don't need it I mean you can cut out the little teeny circles if you want you don't need to and we're not going to today just because um you know lack of time okay so this is one that's really nice to have a little teeny detail scissors to help cut, us cut out in these small areas. So I have linked to a good laminator at the top if you don't have a laminator or laminating sheets if you need more. Okay, three more. I'm almost done. Our cheeses. Our cheeses come into fruition here. So, and I even have a few more pages for this quiet book. So this quiet book's gonna be, gonna be like an ongoing thing. I always have, a, I have a few more pages that I want my husband to design. I just haven't had the guts to tell him I wanna revisit the quiet book yet. He's so good, guys. I'm so lucky. I like married the best guy ever. Okay, so cut this out. We've got a guy here working on the furnace and he's like walking in and out as I'm talking to you guys and he's like raising his eyebrows at me. I probably would raise my eyebrows at me too. Okay, almost done. Two more. Two more. Okay, and then we got to cut out this little teeny mouse. Look how cute he is. Cute, cute mouse. I know. So every single time I design something in this art book that I have and I draw it with color pencils and then I give my husband the free license to kind of change it and make it his own a little bit. I'm always so surprised at like how he takes my idea that was cute and he turns it into something stinking adorable. So last hole. So you're just going to cut out each of these holes. Then you are going to have to cut out each hole again. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that again but I want you to be able to see. I want you to be able to do this project on your own. So super easy. Cut out each of these holes again. So there we go. Our cheese is ready to go. Cheese, cheese, cheese. So now we need a laminating sheet. So open up that sheet, put that cheese inside right there. Okay, make sure you always put the fold in first. Fold in first, so we're gonna stick it in the sla our laminator here. Fold first, there we go. It's just gonna laminate our cheese. Now we have our cute little mouse here. We'll go ahead and cut him out, and then I'm gonna show you the finished page in the book, and then we'll go through back through the book and. I'll show you all of the ones and the ones that we're going to make in upcoming shows. So cut this little mouse out. You're also going to laminate him. And then you're going to glue a length of ribbon um, to his little behind to be his tail. And you want quite a bit of ribbon. Let me show you what it's going to look like. So this is my quiet book here. Just in a big, big, big fat banda. You could always punch holes in them. I think with this set, since I'm making a, an extra set here, I am gonna glue all the pieces to the back with the plastic bags and then just punch holes in them and put three rings in them to make it a little bit less bulky. So here's a car page. We'll do this another day. 
There is our shape matching pages. There's cookie counting, so the, the cookie sheet, each of them have numbers on them, and then the cookies have different numbers of chocolate chips on them to help with counting. And then, let's see, there's our cute little farm animals. You see those cute little animals? And our barn, so we'll do those another day too. And then here are our darling, you see that little cute Rapunzel dress in there? And Snow White, so those are our paper dolls. And then the paper dolls have a bedroom and a kitchen and a living room and a bathroom. And one day I'm gonna home, I'm gonna try to see if I can get my husband to make a playground for him too. So here is our alien page that we did today. Um, where did all of our alien pieces go? Stinky kids. So then we have an ocean and a clock to tell time. So here is our cheese page, the one that we are working on right now. So, I'll come back to it. Let me finish showing you the rest of the book. So here's our dress the potato like we did today. And then here is weather matching. So each of them, so this one's a little bit better for someone who can read. So there's lightning and then there's little cards and stuff like that that they match the weather. And then there's a stoplight where they put the red, yellow, and green on. And then there's kind of a Tetris page here. So fun little Tetris to go through. And then there is a stacking ring right here where you see that they can make the, like those cute little stacking rings that you buy at the store. So, and we will be doing all of these pages in upcoming lives. So if you want to subscribe to my page, which is at the top in the comments, you'll be able to, oh guys, look how adorable this is. There we go, cute little stacking ring. Okay, so let's go back to our threading page so I can talk you through the rest of it. So, say hi little mouse. There he is, so cute little mouse. So you're gonna tie a long ribbon. Not tie, don't tie it, guys. Hot glue it, a long ribbon to the, to the back of the mouse. So we've cut them out, we've laminated them. Hot glue, a long ribbon to the back of the mouse. Then you're gonna need to recut out each of these holes so that you can, so now your kids can take the mouse and they can put it through the cheese and thread and come back out another side and thread. So you see all the cute places that they can go with that cheese. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions? So those are the three we're doing today. So if you go up to the description, you can download our, our mouse threading page, dress the potato and the space page. I am gonna, you don't need a hot glue, uh, plastic sacks to the back of this one because um, the mouse stays. So you're gonna hot glue one end of the ribbon to the mouse's little behind, and then you're gonna glue the other end of the ribbon to the back of the page. So the mouse is just gonna already be on there. And so for storage, I like to tell the kids, um, Sarah, they're all free. I made them so that you can just download them. So um, I know I'm ha I've been having some struggles with some of the downloads because I just transferred my site, but the three that we have um, cover today are all up in the description. You do have to go to each individual page to download them. Um, I'm working on doing a download. I'm going to put them all together in a book that you can just go and print all at once, but I think that's going to probably be like 99 cents because um, of the extra work. But if you want to go and download each one, um, they are all free. It's all easy. So I'm going to show you this plastic bag again really fast. So you want the big part of the plastic bag to be towards the the book, just small dabs of hot glue. Small dabs of hot glue. Because if you do big dabs of hot glue, it will melt the back. So I'll just push that back to the back of the page. There you go. So you've got that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. So um, I do, you saw that I have a big binder. With this one, um, I am gonna do it smaller and just three ring punch holes in them and then put little the little jump rings in them to try and make this book a little bit smaller. So um, I'm actually really excited to have a second one because we've got two kids and in the car, it's really great. Oh, uh, Sarah says that she works with a special needs child and they, she would love these. You know what? That's part of what inspired this because 
I have the most amazing niece. She's just, she's like the light of my world. And she is autistic. And I, wa I wanted to start creating things that she could do and that we could talk about and things like that. And, um, you know, so uh, I, um, actually I might make the second one just for her. So, and then um, I have a 14 year old sister who's special needs and she loves this too. And it's just been wonderful. So Ruby wants to know if I download on cardstock or if I download on computer paper. You can do either, I do cardstock. I don't want to put all the, I mean, you saw that it's pretty quick. It took us an hour to do three pages. So that's, I mean, that's really fast for a quiet book. Um, but I don't want to put the effort in twice. I don't want to have to redo the book later on. So I'm actually, I'm going to hot glue a little tiny bit of this down too. So let's do some. Um, I don't want to have to put the effort in twice. So I do cardstock. So I do everything I can to make sure that it's going to last longer. So I print on cardstock and then I um, laminate everything. So, and this, so I finished this book, our first book, um, a year ago, and it's held up really, really well on the cardstock with the lamination. So um, that's what I would recommend. And does anyone have any more questions? We've got just a minute here. Actually, I think we're right on time, but I don't think anyone comes right on after me. So if you have any questions, we'll stay on for just another minute. Um, so we've got our potato, our cheese, and our space today. Um, on Friday, we will probably do paper dolls, or we have a bunch of matching ones that are really fun. We have a shapes matching, and then kind of a Tetrisy one, and then weather matching. So we might do those on Friday, too. If you want to go ahead and go up to the description and like my page, you can be there for those. Okay, if there aren't any more questions, I'm going to sign off. You guys have a great day. It was so fun sharing this labor of love with you, and I hope you guys will go download them and get a lot of use out of them. So have a good day. I will talk to you later. Bye.